happy Monday from a field. Just a second. Okay, allergies are getting better this week, I promise. So I'm in our first planted cornfield. I am going to see where we're at uh, so I can do a little prediction of how close we are to harvest. So we still have some green in some of these stalks, but if you go into other stalks, they're looking like pretty mostly brown. And I wanted to see if we've hit black layer yet. So let's see, let's put her down into a black layer quite literally means that on the kernels you're going to see a little black line and that means it's kind of hit the point where it'll start to dry out so this is a nice ear oh, man I hope they all look like this I know they won't because I've looked at other ears that look nothing like this but um okay so if I look I'm near you just pull this back So there's no, there would be a black little line in there. So that one is, a, I'm gonna see if, just check another one. Yeah, so there's no black part right here. So this has not reached black layer yet, but it is fully dented, which literally just means that there's dents in all of it. And looking, so this was also a field, you know, we sprayed for tar spot, but it still comes in that fungicide only lasts for so long. It's kind of inevitable until you get on it. But I do think these plants look better than that field I was in last week where we didn't spray anything. Also, I do think that the top end is off of this crop. Like we were, we were looking pretty dang good, but then we just had a long period of dry when those kernels were filling in. Um, so it took the top end off, but I think that we're going to have an earlier fall because things are drier and hot and last year things just like did not dry down and it took forever to get the crop dried in our grain dryer so hopefully we'll use less propane this year and we'll get a earlier start okay time to change the automatic greasers i need to put these up there should i take the direct route or the indirect route I think I'm gonna go the indirect route. Got my tools. Hopefully one of these is the right size. It is. It is 100 steps to the top of this bin. So let's go. Okay, we're at the top of the bin. That one was pretty much out. So then you twist this out and then, yeah, and then you push it in to get it to go. Yeah, after you get it on there. Yep. Thanks.
Uh oh. Oh no, that one did. Shoot. <laughs> 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 Other one landed nice and square nice down and there. Okay, going back up to the bridge because we forgot the most important thing, my green scan. And I also forgot my gloves, so now I have gloves. I was also going to bring a rod to clean off a different part, just a second. I well, can't say I'm not getting my workout in today. Okay, now we have to clean this hatch out. Sharpen it. Amos from Gearinghoff came out and we made sure that the corn hood was ready to go for the season. If you weren't following me last year at this time, we are running the North Star eight row folding header and it okay, is Okay, moving awesome. some equipment around. Gonna take the corn head off. Let's put our shell beans first. is 3:15 I am headed to the airport
I had a lot of fun hanging out in the Strauss booth and then checking out the rest of the Husker Harvest show. I thought it was a really impressive show. Saw some of my buddies. It was really cool seeing the equipment. I would say this compares pretty evenly to Farm Science Review in Ohio. And I got to see some pivots actively running on my drive back to Omaha. Me and my one backpack I brought on this trip are going to check out. Now, this is not the hotel that I reserve to stay at. I went to that hotel. I've never done this before. I thought I was going to save money. <laughs> and I got a cheaper hotel. And it turns out it was in a very high crime rate, crime rate area. And like when I, went, I checked in, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna see what the room looks like. If it's super scary, like I will just get a different hotel. I just walked into the hallway where my room was at. And I was so scared that I just scurried back out to my car and booked another hotel, which like so blessed that I'm able to do that. Um, this one was not too expensive. But um, I was trying to save money, and I ended up spending more money because I got two rooms. Um, but, I mean, the one I was originally going to see at was, like, very, very cheap, so not out much. But um, I think it was worth the fact that I was able to, like, sleep very well last night. <laughs> Happy Thursday today. Dad and I are going to go on a tour of the Napoleon Custom Ag location. That is where the people that fix my bins are at. I am excited. <laughs> we actually, you know, buy all the components, do all the wiring in here. Okay, the thing that really blew my mind is learning about the level of automation that you can do on grain setups now. They have an app. You can talk to your grain dryer. You can literally text with your grain dryer. Um, if you have low moisture in soybeans, it can figure out how to put moisture back into your beans and literally make you money. I feel like the day of having spoiled grains or like big issues at grain setup would be over with this technology. <laughs> I was really impressed with how organized and clean everything was. Uh, the staff was just super friendly and knowledgeable. I didn't realize how many locations or employees they had or all the things that they offer. Um, I have been a customer for years and like this was just such a cool experience to learn more about this company that I have been working with. Um, and I don't know, just thank you guys very much. I was very impressed. I feel like this sounds like an ad. This is in no way an ad. I, this was just a cool opportunity that they gave me, um, but I really appreciate it. Hey, I'm going to do some mowing this afternoon, but I had to say hi to the sheepies first. I am not going to subject you guys to hearing my singing voice. Happy Friday. I'm going to pull a couple of ears so I can get a moisture sample for our earliest planted cornfield. Okay. So I think I got a hand for it. Okay, we're going to mix her all together. Forever, you just sit there. Okay, 28.5. Now, this is something I really like to see, or like this here. How these ears are coming out of their husks means that we're not gonna have mold on these things. That's, that is good, that's a good sign also going to help them dry out more and this field obviously has some tar spot on it but it was treated um, but just a lot less of an infection than some of those other fields okay I'm gonna test some of these stalks all right you can start pushing that one
Now this one right in here, I can actually start to push my finger into there. You can see that start to kind of bow. But that's kind of a um, outlier. Other stuff seems to be a lot better. That right there too. That's another part where you can kind of push right in. Lighter planted stuff so it has some pretty decent green color to it. Wow. Ended the work week with moving some equipment around in a dress. I was sort of running out of time, uh, but Tanner and I are going to a wedding this weekend. Tanner is the best man in his best friend's wedding. We are so excited to celebrate them. They picked a perfect time right before we get into the full swing of harvest. I bet we will at least be in a field next week, so make sure you are subscribed. And please leave a comment of what specifically you would like me to show you when we get into the full swing of harvest. Bye!